This Thursday evening, we saw some rain on the radar in the area, but not quite as widespread as what we were dealing with yesterday at this time. Light to moderate rain here in Doth and the heavier cells are along Highway 84 in Northward and Dale and Coffee counties. This is generally moving to the northeast, so away from Doth in itself. We'll just have some light showers heading into the evening. If you are heading out to the National Peanut Festival, have the rain poncho or the umbrella handy with you just in case some more showers do develop. And it's possible that we could have some more as we do head into the evening. As far as those rainfall amounts over the last 24 hours, some spots pretty impressive, especially in Geneva County. That did prompt the flash flood warning that we did have yesterday at this time. Thankfully, that's not the case for this evening, but we could still have some ponding on the roadways, so take it easy if you are heading out. And also, visibilities will be reduced. Some fog will be developing in the overnight. Temperature is holding steady. In the 70s right now, upper 60s, we will be cooling off into the middle 60s for most locations as we do head into the overnight hours. And those rain chances will begin to thin out once we get past 7 o'clock or so. But I'm going to keep the 30% chance in there until at least midnight or so. Overnight, we could see some slightly drier conditions, but more rain is on the way for Friday afternoon. On the backside of that system, some cooler air will be moving into the region for Saturday and Sunday mornings. Below average, we should be in the upper 40s for lows and we'll creep back into the 50s then for our lows for Monday and Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we have a pretty decent chance of having a freeze here in the Wiregrass and some spots in the Alabama will be dealing with a hard freeze. It's temperatures in the 20s for lows, so certainly a big change on the way next week. So for tomorrow, this frontal boundary is still going to be in place. It is going to be directing some moisture in our direction and giving us those high rain chances. We can see that hour by hour for tonight. Clearing out 945, the radar mostly clear. Temperatures in the lower 70s, 60s at that for some of us. And then tomorrow, that rain will begin to approach us. 730 in the morning, just past sunrise, will be dry, but northern part of the state will be pretty wet. We'll have some showers and storms developing in our area after lunchtime, and that will be lasting at least till the early evening evening hours and then for the high school football games and heading out to the peanut festival for Friday night conditions will be clearing out, but it is going to be rather breezy as the sky clears out. So it looks like even though the weekend will have nicer weather, it will be windy at times, making those temperatures feel a little bit cooler. Saturday will be starting out in the 40s for us, but if you're headed northward to Montgomery or Birmingham, it will be starting out in the 30s as far as those low temperatures and then the afternoon hours for Saturday just topping out in the 50s. High rain chances for tomorrow, 60%. 77 degrees for the high temperature, then much cooler for Saturday and for Sunday. We'll be back in the, well, the 60s continue then for Monday and Tuesday for some of us, 50s for uh, Tuesday, but then the really cold air moves in Tuesday morning and then Thursday morning. That's when we could see a lot of locations with some frost and certainly those freezing temperatures are a possibility. And there's a chance that those lows even here in the wiregrass could be 